gonna show you guys. That's my that's my freaking giant tub of leftovers from the fall the other night. Yummy. Hmm. Oh, that big hunk of tendon in the bottom, and it you know damn near fills up a big Pyrex. Yummy. That's gotta go in the microwave for several minutes. And you are going in the pot, pal. Well, guys, dinner was awesome. But when it's pho, it's always fantastic. Can't, can't quite make that work. But I want to hang out, watch a little Triple D, and uh, relax. There's no breakfast in the morning. Well, there is, but it's at 7.30, and I'm long gone by then. So uh, I don't know why they do breakfast later on the weekends. It drives me crazy. Um, I mean, if you want to extend it longer on the weekends, fine, but don't start it later. Anyway, whatever. Um, Ethiopian food for lunch today. Oh, I'll, I'll throw a picture in. Um, yeah, I'll throw a picture in at the end of this so you can see it. Yeah, it was real funky. And you eat it all with your hands. With these, You'll see in the picture, kind of at the bottom of the picture, there's this little roll of stuff that's like this spongy thin like bread they call it bread I don't know how to I don't know how to describe it uh, but it's just this, this really paper thin, not really paper thin but it's just spongy thin and you tear off little strips and eat it it's just a little sour funky it's called Igera I think is what it's called anyway and you just kind of there were no utensils on the table whatsoever little rolls of bread that you tore off strips and napkins <laughs> it was good so any whoozle I'm going to uh, rack out shortly Enjoy a little downtime and some TV time, and I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. He's out. So here's the Ethiopian food. You can see the little roll of bread there at the bottom. It was delicious.